Hello friends, hope you're all doing well. Um, today we are going to look at a book that is going to match our science lesson for today. So I hope you all were able to um, access the S'mores newsletter. If you are on the S'mores newsletter, then you will notice that in science we are going to start exploring living organisms. So what we are doing today is we have a book that on Epic, and the title of our book is what do living things need what do living things need and our author is elizabeth austin remember that the job of the author is to write the words in the book while we are reading today we're going to think about the main idea remember the main idea is what the book is trying to teach you about also, we're going to think about all of the things that um, animals, plants, and even us, what we need to survive. So today with our book, I want you to do your best job of following along with me as I read. I want you to be reading as well. I think you guys can handle this book. Let's get started. Living things need light. Notice in our photograph up here, this is a photograph taken underwater with plants living in the ocean and fish swimming around. Living things need light. Where does our light come from? That's right, it comes from the sun. Living things need food. Living things need water. Living things need air. Living things need space. Living things need homes. Remember, what is another word for a home? That is correct. Another word for a home is a habitat. A habitat is where a person, plant, or animal lives. Living things need protection. Oh, what is this porcupine's protection? How does he protect himself? That's right, with his very sharp and prickly needles. Living things need other living things. This is an awesome photograph of a bee pollinating a flower. So here is a fun science activity for um, to review what living things need. You can go out and you can plant a flower. Remember here's some nonfiction text feature review. This is our glossary. Remember that the glossary tells us the definition of words that we may not know, such as protection. Protection is a thing that keeps something safe. And space, the definition of space is an empty area. Over here is another nonfiction text feature. This is our index. If you need to know or look up a word, you can turn to the index to find what page the word is located on, such as Holmes. Holmes is located on pages 12 to 13. Protection is located on pages 14 to 15. Water is located on pages 6 to 7. Your turn. Look at some plants. What plants have everything they need? What plants do not? How can you tell? I want you to look at the two photographs above. What do you notice is the difference in these plants? We notice that the corn over here is bright yellow, has beautiful green leaves, and it looks very healthy. However, does this sunflower look healthy? No, it does not. This sunflower is very wilted 
and it looks like it is not receiving enough water or nutrients or air. Maybe perhaps not enough sunlight depending on where it is planted. So I want you to think back to the um, to think about the main idea in our story today. What was the main idea? Correct. The main idea is to teach us about all of the things that living things need. So what were some of those things? Can you say them all? Remember, if we don't always remember, we can always turn back and look in our book. So we know that living things need light. Living things need food. Living things need water. Living things need air. Living things need space. Living things need homes. Remember, a home is a habitat. Living things need protection. Living things need other living things. I hope you all enjoyed this awesome nonfiction book, and I can't wait to hear from you all soon. Have an awesome day!